Right beneath this steel deck is enough firepower to erase a nation in a single afternoon. No warning, no declaration, just silence, and then impact. But here's what no one tells you. This power was almost never supposed to exist. The USS Gerald R. Ford isn't just a ship. It's a $13 billion floating weapons vault. And once it enters a war zone, everything changes. Enemies don't try to fight it. They try to sink it before it can launch. Because if it does, it's already too late. And the final weapon you'll see explains why. America operates 11 nuclear aircraft carriers. That's not a fleet. That's global dominance on demand. Each one carries over 5,000 people, dozens of aircraft, and enough ordnance to outperform entire air forces. But the real danger isn't the ship. It's what launches from it. And this is where everything changes. A single Ford-class carrier can launch 160 combat sorties per day. Read that again. One ship. One day. More firepower than most countries can deploy in a week. Bombers. Fighters. Electronic warfare aircraft. All moving as one. But the crown jewel hasn't even taken off yet. Meet the F-35 Lightning II. Nearly invisible to radar. Seeing enemies before they're detected. Sharing battlefield data instantly across the fleet. But here's the terrifying part. These jets can carry nuclear-capable weapons. That means a carrier doesn't need to get close. It just needs to exist. And America has 11 of them. The F-35 isn't alone. The F-A-18 Super Hornet still carries the fight. Switching from air-to-air -air combat to ground strikes in the same mission. Missiles. Bombs. A 20 mm cannon that turns targets into debris. But in 2024, something new arrived on deck. Something enemies weren't ready for. The AIM-174B missile. Built from the SM-6. Fired from fighter jets. Reaching targets at extreme ranges. Enemy pilots don't even see it coming. One moment, clear skies. Next moment, nothing. And this is the most dangerous part. It strikes before enemies think they're vulnerable. Getting airborne faster matters. That's why Ford-class carriers use EMALs. Electromagnetic launch systems. No steam. No delay. More power, less stress on aircraft. Jets launch heavier. Return faster. And go right back out. Which leads to a problem enemies can't solve. Older carriers had three weapons elevators. Ford-class ships have 12. Electromagnetic. Silent. Moving bombs and missiles from deep storage. To the flight deck in minutes. Land. Reload. Launch again. This ship doesn't pause. It accelerates. Every strike needs eyes. That's the E-2D Hawkeye. Flying radar. Hundreds of miles of visibility. Tracking aircraft, ships, and missiles at once. It doesn't just see the battlefield. It controls it. And when enemies try to fight back electronically, America pulls the plug. The EA-18G Growler doesn't destroy targets. It erases awareness. Enemy radar goes dark. Communications collapse. Missile batteries lose guidance. Entire air defense networks fall silent. Without a single explosion. And then the real strike begins. If a missile gets through, it meets Phalanx CIWS. A 20 mm Gatling gun. 50 rounds per second. A wall of tungsten. Add C Sparrow missiles. Rolling airframe missiles. Layer after layer of protection. But the true shield is invisible. Spy 3. Spy 4. These radars don't just detect threats. They manage wars. Tracking hundreds of targets. Guiding intercepts. Detecting objects as small as a periscope. Enemies can hide. But they can't disappear. Now comes the cheap threat. Drones. And America adapted fast. Coyote and Roadrunner systems hunt drones. Without wasting million dollar missiles. Efficiency meets dominance. But the future is even darker. Unmanned fighter jets. 
Robot wingmen. No pilots. No hesitation. They'll fly ahead. Absorb the risk. Strike first. Built by Boeing. Northrop Grumman. General Atomics. And once they deploy, the rules of war change again. So why do enemies obsess over sinking just one carrier? Because if they don't, everything after that is academic. A carrier doesn't need permission. It doesn't need allies nearby. It arrives, and the balance of power tilts instantly. But here's the question no one wants to answer. If this is what America shows publicly, what's still classified below deck? And what happens the day one of these ships finally goes to war against a near-peer enemy? Watch till the end of the next video, because that truth changes everything. One ship. No warning. No escape. A weapon platform so powerful, it can rewrite the outcome of a war before the enemy even knows they've been detected. But here's what no one tells you. The deadliest part of an aircraft carrier isn't even human anymore. And the final truth about how all of this connects changes everything. Modern wars move too fast for pilots alone. Too fast. Too risky. Too unforgiving. Missiles don't wait. Drones don't miss. And a single mistake can cost billions or thousands of lives. So the U.S. Navy faced a terrifying question. What happens when human limits become the weakness? This is where everything changes. These aircraft don't feel fear. They don't get tired. They don't hesitate. Unmanned fighters, designed for one purpose only. Some hunt enemy aircraft. Others slip deep into hostile territory. Others quietly watch, and never forget what they see. A single carrier can deploy dozens of them. No cockpit. No pilot. Just pure mission focus. What would you do if your enemy could multiply its air force overnight? Now imagine this. An enemy missile is launched. It screams toward the carrier at supersonic speed. And then it simply disappears. No explosion. No warning. Because Ford class carriers don't just carry jets. They generate three times more power than older ships. Enough power for military lasers. Invisible beams. Light speed defense. Targets erased before they even get close. And this is the most dangerous part. The enemy never knows what hit them. Distance used to protect enemies. Not anymore. Meet the MQ-25 Stingray. An unmanned flying gas station. It refuels fighters mid-air pushing strike range hundreds of miles farther. Missions that once needed multiple carriers now require just one. Suddenly, nowhere is safe, and nowhere is out of reach. But the real power isn't a single weapon. It's the connection. Every radar, every satellite, every missile, every ship, all linked. A destroyer can guide a fighter's missile. A satellite can feed targeting data in real time. Hundreds of miles apart, thinking as one. It's not a fleet anymore. It's a single, massive brain. One carrier. Targets over 1,000 miles away. Hundreds of strikes in a single day. Defenses tracking dozens of threats at once. There is nothing else on Earth like this. Nothing even close. And the carrier is never alone. Arleigh Burke destroyers surround it. Loaded with SM-2. SM-3, and SM-6 missiles. They shoot down aircraft, intercept ballistic missiles, destroy ships on the surface. Uh, see. Missiles. Pick a domain. They dominate it. Below the surface. Something worse is waiting. Virginia-class submarines. Invisible. Patient. They launch Tomahawk missiles at land targets, while hunting enemy subs that never see them coming. If the surface is chaos, the deep ocean is death. Technology alone isn't enough. So they train. Relentlessly. Night launches. Storm recoveries. Simulated missile swarms. Again. And again. And again. So when it's real, there's no panic. Only execution. Keeping this alive is a war of its own. Millions of rounds. Hundreds of missiles. Thousands of spare parts. Supply ships shadow the fleet. 
feeding these floating cities non-stop. Power doesn't project itself. It has to be sustained. This isn't theory. In the Red Sea, American carriers faced hundreds of drone and missile attacks. They intercepted threats. They destroyed launch sites. They dismantled command centers. Under real fire. And they held. Here's the part no radar can measure. Fear. When a carrier strike group appears, conflicts often stop before they start. Because everyone knows what comes next. Overwhelming force. Instant response. No second chances. And it's about to get more terrifying. Hypersonic missiles. AI-guided weapons. Space-based sensors. Faster. Smarter. Deadlier. The advantage doesn't shrink. It multiplies. Every system is run by volunteers. Men and women who chose to master the most complex weapons ever built. Steel and code mean nothing without them. They turn machines into power. And power into deterrence. So here's the truth. The most dangerous weapons on aircraft carriers aren't just missiles, or drones, or lasers. It's the total system. A force so integrated, so overwhelming, it prevents wars by making them unwinnable. But as technology accelerates, one question remains. What happens when someone finally tries to challenge it? Watch till the end of the next story, because that answer may decide the future of the oceans.